2020 at the beginning. 2019 when we started. 2020 at the end we became wiser. Also 2020 we stood out. <laughs> When I said I did my research, I did my research. I, I'm telling you, I, pay, I purchased from the girl just to see the tubes, get a sample from a vendor, bring it here, compare the two. Like, I, I went in. Remember, I learned my lesson in 2019 about these. All right? Okay, keep that in mind. So when I got this, I knew not to use the rest of the labels left. So I still have... The 2019 labels that I first started, I still have it till this day. Trash. That's waste of money. So please, please, please know when you start in a business, like you will, it's, it's tr um, trials and errors. Like it's okay. But I'm here to try to help you so you don't do what I did. And you wouldn't end up like me. I mean, nothing wrong with me, but. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title, I am going to spill it some do's and don'ts when starting your lip gloss business this year, 2021, okay? So when I first started, I started in 2019 and it was like, now, not a lot of people were doing it, but it was getting there, you know? So... I'm going to tell you guys all the mistakes I made so you don't make those same mistakes, okay? <laughs> Firstly, when you're finding um, tubes, make sure you get like samples. So my mistake was just ordering um, 50 tubes, 50 tubes from eBay. So this was a thing. There was no reviews, nothing. It just said... 50 and I pay like what um $30 for it I don't even remember but I would never ever ever do that in my life again this is what happened when I got the tubes the, this was my first tube okay plain simple regular and this was the the tip this is the the doe foot which I'm sure you know of this is the thing, when you apply this on, right, it's hard as hell. I mean, just hard, hard. That's another thing too. When you have the doe foot, people tend to do like this, but I will advise you to swirl it in one place and apply. That's how you can get the most out of um, the lip gloss, the doe foot. So that's another tip. So here, twirl, done. Instead of going back and forth. But yeah, so back to the tubes. When I got it, I thought, I really thought it was the shit. Like, when I saw it, I was like, oh my god. Like, I was excited. I was happy. Done. I got my base. I always get it from um, T TKB, regular, regular, yeah. Um, so I had that. I bought. I didn't buy the big, big ones. I bought the five ounces. Cool, cute. Um, the oils. Get one oil that you you would like, or um, how do I say this? Only get one oil or two don't get five like i did and till this day i have yet to open all the other ones that i bought because i was watching so many lip gloss videos and i was see like oh okay she's using coconut oh she's using argan oil oh my gosh she's using vegetable oil just an example <laughs> but yeah so be mindful like when you're when you start to purchase stuff just write it down think to yourself are all these ingredients gonna go into this lip gloss or for your brand like be be detailing so you can cut down on the ingredients
ingredients list or just get you know little little um little ounces not the big ones and just test it out mix it use it for like a week or two and see how you like it because obviously if you like it your customers that purchase for the first time and if they return that means they like it as well so you keep you keep doing your thing so that's the thing the second thing will be labels i think i gotta i gotta come forward for this one when it comes to labeling do not get the stickers from aliexpress <laughs> look i'm exposing myself i got the stickers that says your logo any vendor that says your logo a scam <laughs> not all of them i'm talking about aliexpress only so i'm gonna come closer this was my first excuse my nails my first um label now it looks it looks all right let me try to focus it looks all right okay but when i start to scratch it let me scratch it now i'm gonna scratch it so y'all y'all know what i'm talking about so you don't make that mistake okay now look i scratch right here gone 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 so that ties into branding do not buy the label from aliexpress the one that says your logo here child by the time um your customer purchases it and put it in their bags or whatever your your name or your brand name would not be anywhere to find so in the future if they finish using it they would even know who they purchased it from because the logo gone and it peels off too like i can peel it off right now that is a no bueno see it's peeling like and literally it can be like that i have had when i first started my friends obviously supported me and they would send me pictures like oh my god like it says um queen gloss now or it will be like instead of the glow it will be low <laughs> i kid you not oh my god i'm so glad i'm making this video because i don't want y'all to make that mistake like it's 2021 like it's time to elevate everyone like put y'all on because i know I don't know if people are like helping y'all but i'm here to just save you i'm here to save you for real so that's that Be okay so we're gonna per we're gonna um start off from 2019 2019 bad logo bad tube bad application okay okay 2020 <laughs> 2020 i started um squeeze tubes squeeze tubes regular um what can i say about squeeze tubes squeeze tubes are a must if you have a lip gloss brand i would say start selling squeeze tubes too because people love squeeze tubes. squeeze tubes i mean you just squeezing the thing and bam it's there so people do like squeeze tubes finding a good vendor now it's everywhere you can get some from um ebay i have uh, not ebay oh my god well well i don't know but um i sell mine on i sell my tubes like these kind of tubes on etsy and they're only a dollar um so yeah you can buy it in bulk people buy um 200 100 obviously they are selling it to resell it for a higher more profit which is smart so i'll get that into i'll get into that like later on but yeah so i started 
the squeeze tubes, right? Remember, I learned my lesson in 2019 about these, all right? Okay, keep that in mind. So when I got this, I knew not to use the rest of the labels left. So I still have the 2019 labels that I first started. I still have it till this day. Trash. That's waste of money. So please, please, please know when you start in a business, like you will, it's, it's tr um, trials and errors. Like it's okay, but I'm here to try to help you so you don't do what I did and you wouldn't end up like me. I mean, nothing wrong with me, but... <laughs> But um, anyway, so 2020 squeeze tubes, right? Label, vinyl label. Vinyl label, amazing. I'm going to tell you that now. If you're starting a business, like now, get vinyl label if, if you want to, if you want to um, budget. But there is another one that I would say started off with at the get-go. But, um, vinyl label, mine comes in like this. I ordered from in, um, Instagram from Labels and Stickers. This is her. I'll leave her information down below. But she is super sweet. I have been with her all of last year I was with her. I still use um, her labels because I ordered like so many. So, I still use them. Like here and there, it depends. If I have like a big order um i have i have a, i have tubes that i don't have to apply stickers but i like to um mix it up because i know i still have more of these left now i only have like 10 left but this is how they come in so they come in like so it's blurry but they come in like this and then you apply it I mean you peel it off you peel it off like so it, um the the words is supposed to come onto the sticker so that's how you know so before you apply you squeeze 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 but yeah before you apply you just press it down um, I usually use a debit card like something hard to press it down she also do sell like applicator like those hard things but I just use my um a credit card because I'm saving I'm trying to save money but okay 2020 vinyl labels vinyl labels is amazing don't get me wrong but the thing is it doesn't last forever so it lasts more than the 2019 label i can tell you that for sure but but the only thing is eventually the word starts to fall out so are y'all ready <laughs> this is my final label it's supposed to say glow queen gloss as you can see, it's just Jean, Uin, and Jibba Jabble. Yeah, so that is the downfall of buying a label. But if you are starting your business, if you're starting your business, I will tell you to budget, budget well. Like I said, I have these tubes. Um, I have the 15 and the 20 ml. 20 ml is popping, so just get 20 mls when you're starting. I sell those for a dollar too on Etsy and on my website. I would say shop on my website because I don't do I don't charge taxes um, as of now. So take advantage of that. When you shop through Etsy, all the prices are the same as my website, but at the end the total will be way different because Etsy would charge with their taxes and the state taxes whatever they do I don't got nothing to do with it right but on my website I can control things I don't charge taxes on my products because I just don't yet <laughs> but yeah that'll be like for another video if you want to know like why don't you ch charge tax I don't charge tax because I don't do taxes yet so it's like that's me cheating you for your money or you know 
so i'm just trying to be on the safe side but yeah that's that um so yeah budget 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 you're getting your sweet tubes you're getting your tubes whatever you want to do budget okay i will leave everything that i'm saying my website like if you want to do the whole the if you want to buy the tubes i will leave everything down below for you okay so we did we did this we, we said this right at the end of 2020 i was fed up <laughs> i was fed up first of all i was fed up of this i was fed up of this so i decided to make a change so i got into screen printing when it comes to screen printing you're probably like girl what the hell but look it doesn't scratch at all and it doesn't remove so i managed to solve these two issues all in one like so you probably like where can i find that i got you i offer this for other businesses as well um obviously confidential reasons like i can't be like oh yeah i did this brand i did this brand i did this brand i offer screen printing for many brands i started in 20 um like almost at the end of 2020 and yeah i'm still doing it <laughs> when i first started obviously you want to stand out in your business um so it took me a while to offer that service but once i released once i released it i posted it on instagram regular degla pull on um, regular degla post but it went crazy a lot of dms <laughs> asking how because like i said we all fed up we are all fed up on this <laughs> so um i released it the next week i started offering that's um I, I started offering those services for other brands as well and if you want to start your business you can skip the struggles you can skip these two struggles <laughs> meaning the label and jump into good 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 quality um so i offer it in the squeeze I also offer them so this is what this is the 20 ml so I offer in the 20 ml I offer it in I offer it in 10 ml 15 ml 20 ml 5 ml all the ml's you can think of your girl can do it okay um, yeah so when that was done I was like um, I need something else I need something new because like I said, you have to stand out in this business. Like you really do have to stand out. Like I know people be like, oh, stand out. Like, no, literally listen, you really have to stand out because guess what? Everybody is, everybody is doing it too. So you have to stand out. So there was this one brand that had these skinny tubes and um, what was her name? Jazz 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 something yeah anyway so she had these skinny tubes and everybody was like where did you get those like like basically like help us like please help us and i understood her side because she did her research she got her tubes why should she share it to us like what like do your own research at that so when you go into her post is where did you get the tools from um please like like what what um ml is that like help us blah 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 help me help me help my brand girl ignore it so i saw her page and i said oh i'm going to do my research i am going to do my research and guess what rochelle did did her research so i got <laughs> i spent money that i would not lie i spent a couple of bucks to get samples 
to make sure that it was the same that I was going like, girl, when I said I did my research, I did my research. I, I'm talking about I, pay, I purchased from the girl just to see the tubes, get a sample from a vendor, bring it here, compare the two. Like I, I went in. Okay. So fast forward, I did purchase the two bulk. Okay. And then guess what? I released it to the world, to the, to, I released it to the lip gloss world. <laughs> and it went crazy. And it's still going crazy. So this is what I'm talking about. Y'all see this? Yeah. The one everybody wants. Oh, oh, you can't, you can't, you can't tell by the difference. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so this is 12 ml right this is the 12 ml this is the 15 I'm gonna put it next to each other so you guys can see the difference so the 15 is slightly as you can see is slightly bigger than the 12 ml but it's the same they still cute I love them both because guess what? It is different. It's different. Like, come on, let's be honest. It is different. Like, I feel like if you start off with this, like, you will get more customers compared to these. I have both. And people like, people like what they like. People like the regular size 15. This is 15 ml. People like the regular size 15 ml. People like this 15 ml. So it all depends on you and your customers. So I would say offer both on your website. Give your customers options. Everybody likes options. Give your customers options to choose from. Okay. So I do I do um offer this in wholesale too. So you can purchase um you can purchase this on the website. Like I said, it's both on Etsy, it's both on my website, but you can purchase it. I will, but I will tell you to purchase it on my website because I don't charge taxes and any hidden fees like Etsy be doing. So this is in wholesale. This is also in wholesale. As you can see, this is also the same screen print as the other one. Where is the other one? So this is the same screen print as this one, okay? It doesn't come off whatsoever. I'm talking about you can glide your fingers to feel your logo. Even the blind can feel your logo, okay? So, so yes, I offered this. Cute. You can, you can design it however you want. I also do offer it in um, drop shipping. So if... If you are a lip gloss business, you can put this on your website. You don't have to have any inventory of it whatsoever. You come on my website. When somebody orders through you, you come on my website, purchase it through me. I drop ship. You tell me that it is drop shipping. You put their address there, just like a regular order. I would do it, ship it to them without my address. Boom between me and you so yeah so this will be the first episode of of the lip gloss um starting your business so it will be like series um so if you're like done with the video if you had that if you made it to the end thank you Congratulations on even thinking about starting a business because starting a business is a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And there's more videos and more tips to come. And I can't wait for you guys to start your business and we'll all be growing and flourishing together. So a whole quick review. 2020 at the beginning. 2019 when we started 
2020, at the end, he became wiser. Also 2020, he stood out. <laughs> so this is generation. This is generation of lip glosses. And this is not even the whole the whole thing yet. On the next video, I will show you. I do offer the one tubes as well. They come also screen printed and you can start your business as well on that level. So when you go on my website, you will see everything. Yeah, I'll put everything in the description box too. So like the direct link so you don't have to go through the whole wholesale section. But it's good to see the wholesale section to see the variety of things I do offer. I will make a, another um, video talking about wholesaling, like where to start. Um, yeah, I will basically be doing the research out here for you and I'll be dropping the video so you don't have to like go back and forth on different company websites. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do wish you the best of luck and I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye.